it just gets <laughs> as I was saying, it just gets weirder. <laughs> it doesn't stop. What it is, what do you guys keep the former back in the building for yet another movie reaction, you guys? Today we're watching The Big Lebowski from 1998. I say this all the time, but I feel like I've heard about this movie since forever. I feel like it's a it's a huge centerpiece movie in the cinephile community. Based on the title and the cover of this movie, I can deduce pretty much nothing about what this movie is about. And yes, realizing that this movie was directed by the Coen brothers was enough to give me that extra push to give it a shot. So here we are, giving it a shot. But before we do, guys, hit the like and subscribe button for your boy. The full length reaction to this and many others will be available on the Patreon. And without further ado, let's do what it do. Way out west, there was this fella, fella by the name of Jeff Lebowski. This Lebowski, he called himself the dude. He's the man for his time and place. He fits right in there. And that's the dude <laughs> in Los Angeles. <laughs> Lost my train of thought here, but oh, hell, <laughs> I done introduced him enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd say. This will not stand. I don't know how this man kept me intrigued for that five, ten minutes, saying literally nothing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn! <laughs> Where's the money, Lebowski? Oh, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> Not on the rug, man. See? see what happens, Lebowski? You see what happens? Somehow that's worse than ducking his face in the toilet. You see a wedding ring on my finger? Does this place look like I'm fucking married? The fuck is this? Obviously, you're not a golfer. Thanks a lot, asshole. That's it. No, my bad. Take a woman like you. See, I never got that form down, man. That bowling form. Yeah. Tied the room together, dude. My rug. Were you listening to the dude's story, Donnie? Walter. Were you listening to the dude's story? I was bowling here. What the dude. fuck is he talking my about? My rug. Forget Look. it, Donnie. You're Walter. out of your element. Walter, the Chinaman who peed on my rug. <laughs> I can't go give him a bill. So what the fuck are you talking? <laughs> the Chinaman. Also, dude, Chinaman is not the preferred nomenclature. Asian American, please. <laughs> Walter, this isn't a guy who built the rug. So he knows. Here. This is that rug really tied the room together, did it not? Fucking A. And this guy peed on it. Donnie, please. You know, this <laughs> Wait, is the why do they, they want to include him? They peed on your fucking rug. <laughs> I'm so study. confused. How is that like the main issue here? Like the assault and placing his head in the toilet. Again, is that not worse? Or the breaking and entering? I don't know. <laughs> oh. That's the Los Angeles Chamber of Commerce Business Achiever Award, which is given, well, not necessarily given every year. Oh, those are Mr. Lebowski's children, oh, different so mothers, to speak. Huh? No, they're not. Racially, he's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> they're not literally his children. They're the little Lebowski urban achievers. That's actually a cool ass mayor. <laughs> what can I do for you, sir? Uh, well, sir, it's, uh, this rug I have, it really tied the room together. Uh, <laughs> you told Brant on the phone, he told me. What do I fit in? Every time a rug is micturated upon in this fair city, I have to compensate the person. Com You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, <laughs> that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino. I'm so confused. He's confusing me. You know, this aggression will not stand, man. <laughs> I mean, your wife owes my- My wife! Oh. The issue here. I didn't blame anyone for the loss of my legs. Some Chinaman took them from me in Korea. <laughs> I went out Wait, Again with this? Anyway. <laughs> if he's from Korea, how could he- Never, never mind, never mind. My advice to you is to do what your parents did. Get a job, sir. <laughs> the bums will always lose. You hear me, Lebowski? <laughs> how, how did this happen? How did this turn into this? I am so... I am so confused, but abused. 
blowing them. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Go ahead. This moves Blow. fast. Oh, wait, are you sure this is in a Tarantino movie? You're bunny. I'll suck your cock for a thousand dollars. Okay, see, now this is moving real <laughs> fast. <laughs> what? I hate this nervous laugh. You guys are dead in the water. I'm so confused, right, but again, very amused. I'm realizing this movie has its own very different kind of humor, and I'm, I'm digging the style. Over the line! Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Smokey. You were over the line. That's a foul. Give me the marker, dude. I'm marking an eight. Smokey, my friend. Hey. All <laughs> the pain. Walter. <laughs> again, man. again. We're going from zero to 100. Market zero. They're calling the cops, man. <laughs> away. Market zero. Walter. Just market zero, Walter. man. All right, just market zero. Walter? You think I'm fucking around? Oh, here? Market my zero. God. Bro, where are we right now? Bro, I'm beginning to feel like this whole movie is like a big trip. Like, the dude is on like this huge trip or something. I mean, he seems like that's not far past his character. Now the cops really did come. Just take it easy, man. I'm perfectly calm, dude. Yeah, waving the fucking gun around? Calmer than you are. Will you just take it easy? Calmer than you are. <laughs> Can't stand this. Well, at Mr. Lebowski's office, please call us as soon as I'm performing my dance quintet, you know, my cycle at Crane Jackson's Fountain Street Theater on Tuesday night and just uh, just slipped and ran under my door. <laughs> I can look back on a life of achievement, challenges met. Is it being prepared to do the right thing? Whatever the cost. You mind if I do it, Jay? <laughs> but as you can see, it is a ransom note. We have bunny. That's a bummer. <laughs> Rap a in on the detail. <laughs> Again, what is going on, man? What the hell did he need him for? He thinks the carpet business did this? Well, dude, we just don't know. It just gets. <laughs> As I was saying, it just gets weirder. <laughs> it doesn't stop. <laughs> I never heard the Spanish remix of this song, but I like it. He's a sex offender with a record. He did six months in Chino for exposing himself to an eight-year-old. Huh. Oh, wow. When oh, I told him uh, if it was during league play. What's during league play? Life uh, does not stop and start you know. at your convenience. <laughs> just, I, I figure... just let him in, man. Damn. What the fuck is he talking about? Fucking you know. exactly what happened. Those... Oh, yeah. That makes me fucking sick. <laughs> Wait, what? Care, Those rich fucks. Why? This Why? This whole fucking thing. I... Liam and me, we're gonna fuck you up. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. <laughs> Great response. Let me tell you something, Perfect response. Pandeo. Nobody fucks with the Jesus. Oh, so it's actually Jesus. Okay, of course. I'm not even trying to predict what's going on anymore. I'm just gonna, I'm just going along for the ride. Who are these people? <laughs> Point. My point exactly. It it just it just continues. <laughs> I understand now. This is the ultimate stoner movie. That's it. What the hell did he fall asleep on the floor? Mr. Lebowski asked me to repeat that. Her life is in your hands. What the? Have they called yet? What the hell is this? My dirty undies, dude. Laundry. The white. My point, dude, is why should we settle for 20 grand when we can keep the entire million? Am I wrong? Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm not uh, handling the money, driving oh. the car, and talking on the phone all by Shut my fuck. Shut the fuck up. Dude, are you fucking this up? That is the driver. I told you. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck's going on? He was very specific. Come along. 
Nothing's fucked here, dude. Nothing is fucked. They're a bunch of fucking amateurs. Uh, Wal hey, Walter, will you just... Dude. You are coming to a wooden bridge. When you cross the bridge, you throw the bag from the left window of the moving car. Hey, man! The bridge. Hey, Walter! Hey, Walter! Hey! hey. Oh. Here goes the radio! <laughs> oh my god bro what happened and what is going to happen <laughs> ah, fuck it dude let's go bold <laughs> How is he friends with this guy? Why? Why? Answer the phone, dude. We, we didn't, uh... <laughs> they're gonna kill that poor woman, man. What the fuck are you talking about? The poor woman, that poor slut kidnapped her. <laughs> Come on, dude. You... <laughs> they posted the next round for the tournament. Donnie, shut the fuck up. When do we play? Saturday. <laughs> He's such an ass. Like... I don't understand why anyone wants to deal with them. Look, you just tell them, uh, you tell them we made the drop and everything went, you know. <clears throat> what now? Hey, dude, where is your car? <laughs> Who's got your undies, Walter? Where's your car, dude? <laughs> okay, I uh, no, actually shut up. Yeah, he's right. Shut up, please. Where are you going, dude? We're home, Donnie. <laughs> Phone's ringing, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Donnie. Donnie, shut up, please. Okay, okay. I was too hard on Walter before. Donnie is annoying. He speaks at the wrong time. My rug was also stolen. Lebowski, I'd like to see you. Call when you get home and I'll send a car for you. My name is Maud Lebowski. I'm the woman who took your rug. Well, <laughs> I guess we can close the file on that one. Oh, wait. Are these the people that punched him in the face and he went on that weird trip? What the hell? The art has been commended as being strongly vaginal, which bothers some men. The word itself makes some men uncomfortable. Vagina. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes, they don't like hearing it and find it difficult to... But let me explain something about the rug. Do you like sex, Mr. Lebowski? <laughs> Excuse me? Sex, physical act of love, coitus. Do you like it? Is anyone in this movie normal? Anybody, please. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, he's a nihilist. <laughs> Log jamming. Oh no. He must be here to fix the cable. Lord, you can imagine where it goes from here. He fixes the cable? Fatuous, <laughs> Jeffrey. He doesn't approve of my lifestyle, and needless to say, I don't approve of his. However, I hardly wish to make my father's embezzlement a police matter. Here's the name and number of a doctor who will look at it for you. You will receive no bill. He's a good man and thorough. Uh, that, that, that's thoughtful, but... Please see him, Jeffrey. He's a good man and thorough. <laughs> oh, uh... Sounds legit and thorough. Lost a little money. Hey, you know what? Forget about it, huh? Forget about it. Oh, fuck <laughs> it, man. Yeah, he followed us here. When did he start following? Oh, <laughs> fuck! In the limo. How did this guy's life start talking work, and talk man? Talk fast, you lousy bum! Uh, who are you gonna believe? Those guys are. We dropped off the damn money. We. <laughs> Why? Why does he keep saying the that? The royal we. You know, the editorial. I dropped off the money. It, it might not be just such a simple. Uh, you know? No, just... What in God's holy name are you blathering about? I, I'm saying she needs money. You know, of course, they're going to say they didn't get it. Give him the envelope. Oh, well, you've already got the... By God, sir. I will not abide oh. another toe. Where the fuck are they going to get... You want get... a toe? I can get you a toe. Believe me. There are ways, dude. You don't want to know about a police. Yeah, but Walter. Hell, I can get you towed by three o'clock this afternoon. Walter. Neil Pollard. Uh, this guy. The guys are worse. I got buddies who died face down in the muck so that you and I can enjoy this family restaurant. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Enjoying my coffee. You can't help it. Just 
He can't help but not be a complete ass wherever he is. Bro, what now, man? Bro, how do people keep breaking into his house, man? It's like the 10th break-in. <laughs> what the hell, man? Get that thing out of there. It's gonna bite his junk off. Excuse me? I said we cut off your junction! Just think about that Lebowski. Ah, you big Lebowski. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus, what's that smell, man? Uh, yeah, it's uh, probably a vagrant slept in the car. Or maybe just use it as a toilet and move on. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> my only hope is that the big Lebowski kills me before the Germans Please. can cut my dick off. Now that is just ridiculous. I could be sitting here with just pee stains on my rug. Yeah. But no, man, I gotta, Fucking you know. Germans. <laughs> Nothing changes. <laughs> Fucking Nazis. <laughs> Come on, man. What? Wh why? Sympathizing here, dude. Fuck sympathy. I don't need your fucking sympathy, man. I need my fucking Johnson. <laughs> what do you need that for, dude? You have got to <laughs> fuck up, man. But Sammy's character is starting to be my favorite. <laughs> His facial expressions <laughs> throughout the conversation. He has nothing to do with anything going on, but he just sits there and emotes. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. You got a good sarsaparilla. Bro, what the Sioux hell? City sarsaparilla. Yeah. Sometimes the bar will eat you. Mm. That's some kind of Eastern thing. Far from it. Wait, this is a narrator, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Have it your way. Take her easy, dude. <laughs> what the hell is yeah, wrong with this man. guy, man? <laughs> Why'd he make that so uncomfortable? Hello? Jeffrey, you have not gone to the doctor. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, no, no, I haven't yet. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I'd like to see you immediately. Oh, my God. I, I, <laughs> I can't. I can't deal with this. I can't understand what's going on, but I can't stop watching. Do you want a drink? Yeah, sure. White Russian. The bar's over there. Looks like your mother really was kidnapped after all. She most certainly was not. Hey, man. The whole idea is that the hostage can't be able to identify you after you've let them go. Well, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Who is he? Thank you. What's going North on? Harrington. Do you still have that doctor's number? Oh, no, really. It's not even, not even bruised anymore. Oh, please, Jeffrey. I don't want to be responsible for any delayed after effects. See? After effects. See? See? <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm confused about that too. No, no, man. She hit me right here. <laughs> I understand. Could you slide your shorts down, please? What? You, did you really expect this to be normal? <laughs> oh my god. This. <laughs> This guy, this guy's a hazard to himself, man. What the hell? <laughs> so we actually made it to his landlord's thing. And he brought Donnie. Oh, the In-N-Out Burger's on camera. Near the In-N-Out Burger. Those are good burgers, Walter. Shut the fuck up, Donnie. <laughs> kid is a Anyway, uh, we'll go there after the uh, what have you. Embrace the kid, should be a pushover. We'll be near the in and out burger. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> we'll go out there and we'll embrace the kid, he should be a pushover. Yeah, why did Daddy take this, man? He doesn't need to take this. That kid's already spent all the money, man. Leave that? Hardly, dude. And a good day to you, sir! Uh, sit down, please. We're hoping it won't be necessary to call the police. But that's up to little Larry here. Isn't it, Larry? Have you ever heard of Vietnam? Oh my God! You're entering a world of pain, son. We know that this is your homework. We know that you... And we know that this is your homework. We're gonna cut your dick off, Larry. You're killing your father, Larry. <laughs> the kid's poker face, man. Son, this is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass! <laughs> you see what happens, Larry? <laughs> you see what happens? 
Do you see what happens, Larry, when you fuck a stranger? <laughs> Stop saying that, man. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, man. I'll kill your fucking gun. Oh, oh no. Hey, <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, oh, fuck you. Man. You like that? Bro, Donnie's still in there, man. Oh, so that worked out. <laughs> that worked out perfect. And the kid Larry just wa the kid Larry just looked outside the window and watched them do it. Perfect. No, Walter, it did not look like Larry was about to crack. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Well, that's your perception. You guys cracked. Pin your diapers on Lebowski. Hey. The treehorn wants to see you. It's a carpet pisser. The treehorn knows which Lebowski you are, Lebowski. <laughs> What the hell did I get into with this movie, man? Hello, dude. Thanks for coming. I'm Jackie Treehorn. New technology permits us to do very exciting things in interactive erotic software. Wave of the future, dude. Hmm. Well, I still jerk off manually. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, all right, man. I mean, you know, there are a lot of... Um, Facets uh, to this, a lot of interested parties. Um, <laughs> I interested, a lot of interested parties. Yeah, so it's one way to put it. A lot of people that want their money. Bro, I just can't stay how casual he is with just everything in life. What the hell? Uh, what's in it for the dude? Well, of course, there's that to discuss. A refill? Yeah, there's a poke shit in the woods. Five grand. I'll go out and mingle. Uh oh. Makes a hell of a Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Fifteen year old kid. You gotta be smarter than that, dude. Really? Tie the room together. <laughs> Damn. Darkness washed over the dude. Oh my god. Darkness. Why the hell is he still talking about the damn rug? Hey, what? <laughs> what are we doing now? Wait, Saddam? <laughs> what? What are we doing? What? Are, why? Why? In to see what condition. Miles out of Memphis and I got no <laughs> oh my God! Just. <laughs> <laughs> the scissors. <laughs> Bro, what does a dude be on, man? It can't be just weed. Is this your only ID? You know my rights, man. Now, we got a nice, quiet little beach community here, and I aim to keep it nice and quiet. I'm sorry I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> fucking fast! <laughs> Damn, man. Malibu, Lebowski. Stay out of Malibu, deadbeat. Come on, man. <laughs> That's just a... The man hated him so much he threw his coffee mug at him. Come on, I had a rough night and I hate the fucking eagles, man. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, great. Where, where the hell is she coming from? All her toes. Wait, wait. Yep. <laughs> Why not? Jeffrey. Odd? Love me. Also, why not? Uh, that's my robe. Hmm. You ever hear of the Seattle Seven? Hmm. That was me. Oh! <coughs> what happened to your house? Oh, Jackie Treehorn trashed the place. Very fucking close to your father's money. I keep telling you it's the foundation's money. Father doesn't have any. I know how he likes to present himself. Father's weakness is vanity. Hence the slut. Uh, <laughs> what's that, yoga? Never mind. It increases the chances of conception. Hey! <laughs> I, thought, I thought that's what she was doing. In fact, 
I don't want the father to be someone I have to see socially or who will have any interest in raising the child himself. <laughs> oh, so that doctor... Um... Exactly. Uh. No. I knew it. Everything had to be a... I knew something had to be up with that doctor. Yeah, listen, Walter. I'm at my place. I need you to come pick me up. I can't drive, dude. It's Arab Shabbos. What? Man. I'm not even supposed to pick up the phone unless it's an emergency. This is a fucking emergency. I understand. That's why I picked up the phone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get out of the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> Relax, man. She's not my special lady. She's my fucking lady friend. I'm just helping her conceive, man. <laughs> hey, man, I'm not... Who are you working for? Lebowski? Just helping her conceive, like man. Treehorn? How are you gonna keep him down on the farm once they've seen Carl Hungus? She's been kidnapped, Afino. Oh, How the hell is this story getting so intricate, man? Everything about this is ridiculous, but it's actually written and woven pretty well. Oh, okay. So there's the tell. The million bucks was never in the briefcase. <laughs> The briefcase was fucking empty, man. Of life or death? Well, you come off it, Walter. You're not even fucking Jewish, man. What the fuck are you talking man. about? So what are you saying? When you get divorced, you turn in your library card? You get a new license? You stop being Jewish? Uh, this is the drama. <laughs> what the hell happened? Who is this gentleman, dude? Who am I? I'm a fucking veteran. Oh. That's why. <laughs> go in there, dude. He's very angry. Here. All you needed was a sap to pin it on. You just met me. You, you human paraquat. You figured, oh. Well, aren't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> but you get out, both of you. Come on. Oh, come on. No. Come on. Oh, no. Put him down, man. Yeah, I'll put him down, dude. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Why? And after that, they're still going to bowl. Really? Worthy fucking adversary. Who's in pajamas, Walter? Shut the fuck up, Donnie. <laughs> Whereas what we have here, this is not a worthy hey! fucking adversary. What's this day of rest shit? Oh. What's this bullshit? I almost forgot about him, man. I would have fucked you in the ass Saturday. <laughs> I fucked you in the ass the next Wednesday instead. Don't do the bullshit. Whoa! No. You hey. got a day Wednesday, hey. baby. Why? Why is he? Why is he so animated? The Ron Bomb, he's like. He... Bro, what the hell, man? You don't have the fucking girl, dipshit. We know you never did. Are these the Nazis, Walter? No, Donnie, these men are nihilists. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> hey, look, pal, there never was any money. The big Lebowski gave me an empty briefcase, so take it up with him, man. We fuck you up, man. We chase the money. Come and get it. <laughs> hey. Bro, what is wrong with Walter, man? Fuck you! Oh. Oh, fuck you! I fuck you! I fuck you! Bro, is he, he ear? <laughs> Any semi? Oh, damn, Donnie, what happened? Oh, God, they shot him, man. That shot, no, dude. Damn, man. As mean as he was to Donnie, man, he actually, <laughs> he actually cares. I understand you're taking away the remains. Yeah. Uh, we have the urn. Oh, man, he actually died? This is $180. It is our most modestly priced receptacle. Uh, is there a Ralph's around here? A new <laughs> coffee can. Hey, I guess that works too. Man, that's messed up, man. Donnie was the most unproblematic character in this whole movie. All he wanted to do was bowl, hang out with his friends. He was a man who loved the outdoors and bowling. And as a surfer, he explored the beaches of Southern California from La Jolla to Leo Carrillo. And these young men gave their lives. And so did Donnie. Good night, sweet prince. 
<laughs> no. no. After all that, man. After that beautiful speech. Dude, I'm sorry. I need the fucking travesty with you, man. I'm sorry, it was an accident. What was that, what was that shit about Vietnam? I'm sorry. What the fuck does anything have to do with Vietnam? I'm what sorry. the fuck are you talking about? Dude. Hey, man, just let him bet. Oh, man. Let's go bowling. All right, man. Maybe Walter Nasser's a bad guy, man. He just misunderstood. He has some problems he has to work through, but he cares. You know, sometimes you eat the bar and sometimes, uh, you know. Hey, man. How do you do, dude? I wonder if I see you again. <laughs> Mr. Simwise. Take it easy, dude. Oh, yeah. I know that you will. The dude the binds. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I take comfort in that. Oh my god. And it was a pretty good story, don't you think? <laughs> Made me laugh to beat the band. I guess that's the way the whole darn human comedy keeps perpetuating itself. He's doing that again, man. He's just rambling, talking about nothing. Oh, look at me. I'm rambling. <laughs> what exactly? What did I just say? Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. Catch you later on down the trail. <laughs> I love his narrating, though. He, he's like my favorite narrator now. Apart from Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh, my God. This movie, man. Oh, my God. This was... This was damn genius. <laughs> this was damn genius. I went into The Big Lebowski not knowing a thing about what it was about, the characters, the actors, um, barely even knowing the genre. And that couldn't have been a better decision. The payoff couldn't have been better. <laughs> the payoff could not have been better. Just being confused at times, not knowing what I was watching, why I was seeing this. It just made everything so, so much better. Uh, this movie was, it was a lot, but I didn't expect it to be this funny. This, it was absolutely hilarious. And it's weird because it's not even funny because of the jokes per se. It's really just funny because of the randomness, the absurdity, the unpredictableness, and somehow still being a cohesive story and a cohesive film. I know, I know I gave, my accolades to No Country for Old Men, you know, for you know being the Coen Brothers' best film. But man, after seeing this, it's it's gonna take a couple more viewings. Both movies will take a couple more viewings before I can really make a strong decision in that. These were masterpieces. <laughs> masterpieces, of course, for very different reasons. And it's weird too because it's not like they have a lot of standout actors in this movie. At least none that I'm super familiar with. Um, the guy that played the dude, Jeff Bridges, I don't believe I've heard of him. I've probably seen him around, but he doesn't ring a bell. Uh, John Goodman, I only know him from, I believe he started in this TV show, Roseanne. Um, I never really watched it, but I know he started in that. Busemi, Busemi I've seen in a bunch of things. The narrator dude, I've seen in a couple other movies. I think he was in like Tombstone. But just a crazy amount of talent was in this, man, um, especially from the dude. Um, an amazing character, honestly. I didn't know what to think of him at first, but he was comedic gold. Everything he said was gold, man. <laughs> That's actually how he talked, too. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. I'm the dude, man. <laughs> like the epitome caricature of a California stoner surfer guy. Um, except he wasn't a surfer, he was a bowler, uh, which just made it even more funny. John Goodman's portrayal as Walter was actually pretty interesting as well. Um, and really interesting because he's a lot more of a complex character than he comes off at first, you know what I mean? Like, he just comes off as this abrasive asshole at first. But he turns out to be the only one there for his friends at the end. Um, you can also tell he's going through things from, you know, being a Vietnam War veteran, um, his separation from his ex-wife. Oh, and one of the most standout performances, the guy that played Jesus, John Turturro. <laughs> Somehow being a stand-up performance while being a character that honestly 
didn't matter to the story whatsoever. Perfect. He was he was absolutely perfect. I'm kind of mad he didn't turn out to be some, you know, some actual important character. But again, that just adds to the absurdity and randomness of the movie that just makes it so perfect. Um, yeah, man. There was so much in this film, man, that I can already tell it's going to require multiple viewings to get the full experience out of this. Um, so many hidden themes and lines woven into the story that you're just not going to get on the first take. I feel like The Big Lebowski was so ahead of his time in a way too. In the way that I don't feel like many movies at this point in time were blending genres, multiple genres so well. At least not like this movie did. I could see, I could see why this movie has gotten such a great cult following. I could see why it's held in such regard um, in in the world of filmmaking because it's it's a lot. It's a whole lot to you know really unpack here. Again, it was hilarious for all its absurdity and randomness, but it had deep themes on like identity. Uh, perception and uh, societal standards. Anyways, a remarkable film, an absurd film, a highly quotable film. Uh, definitely, definitely makes it into one of my, probably one of my favorites so far. Uh, it was a lot. And again, the only way to go into this is to not know a thing about what it's about. Just anything. Just go into it completely cold, blind. It will pay off. <laughs> it will absolutely pay off in the end. But guys, thank you for joining me on my reaction to The Big Lebowski. Let me know your thoughts to the movie in the comment section below. I get to like this video, subscribe, and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.